Um, I think ultimately we talked about it as a D-line and our coaching staff, and we said we just need to work together more as a whole. I, I, I brought it up before, like we felt like we needed to do more, like coming from the Ohio State game, we've been, we've been learning and moving on each week and um, getting better and working better together. So that that's the main thing, just pushing the pocket together, um, working off of each other. And I feel like that's been a really big difference for us the last few weeks. Oh, he's a very versatile uh, playmaker. He can make plays with his arm, legs. He's a uh, smart player, great IQ. He just uh, he caused a lot of fits for uh, opposing defenses. So I feel like that's the main thing. We just got to do our best, um, try to do the best we can. I don't think we can shut him down, but we also could just try to limit him, especially a versatile playmaker like that. Um, it gave us a chance to really just get back to the fundamentals and uh, work on like what we felt like we um, missed, missed cues we had earlier in the season. We had a five-game stretch where we had a lot of film to learn from, and um, just we just had ups and downs, and we just picked up from that, and we just uh, went back over those things and just kind of had like a mini camp session, just went over the um, really worked on ourselves. Um, it feels like years ago, but uh, um, it's very it's a very humbling experience. Honestly, um, it's humbling. It just makes you realize that you're not a big uh, big fish in a small pond anymore. You're in a big fish with a, you're a big fish in a pond with a bunch of other big fish. So I realize that's like the main thing for me. And I realize it just made me work realize that talent isn't just gonna uh, always set you apart. It's come work ethic, uh, IQ, and a lot of other things. Everybody has their own things they have that um, put them above the rest. So I feel like the main thing with me is just trying to find my own. Um, Trill's a very uh he's a very twitchy guy, very athletic. He um he has a sneaky strength to him. And he just loves to play football. I really feel like that's the main thing with Trill. He just he loves just loves to play the game. He likes to have fun. He always has a smile on his face and then when it's time to play, he just goes out there. He has a seriousness about seriousness about him, but at the end of the day he just loves playing football and being a kid out there. Um, uh, well, at first, nobody really knew until Coach Flett talked to us. Nobody uh, really had an idea, but uh, just brought us together, just prayed for him, and um, just hoping for the best for him because, you know, ne you never expect anything, things like that to happen, especially on a day like that day, rainy, everybody, every bunch of other things going on. But as soon as we heard about it, we took a time just to pray for him and hope for the best. Um, I think the main thing for us is just working together, like I said, like not just D-line, but then it's working all three parts, defensive line, uh, linebackers, secondary. I feel like we all just working together off each other and just really getting the game plan down. Coach Rossi puts out a, a great game plan for us, and all, all the other coaches, defensive line coaches, everybody just works together. I feel like that's been the main thing for us because I feel like uh, if we just get if we just become one, uh, the whole is stronger than the, um, some of the parts. So I feel like that's the thing for us that we've been working on is just being strong together and working off of each other. Um, not really. Uh, I feel like we don't really look at it th those things because I feel like we really kind of focus on the internal things, like what our coaches say that we get better. Because I feel like no offense to uh, pro football focus or anything like that, but it's just sometimes I feel like you just got to listen to your coaches because they see us every day. So like things like that, they know our game plan, certain things like that. So I feel like that's a big thing for us to really focus on because um, at the end of the day, our coaches are the ones grading us. They know what we're supposed to do on each and every play. And it, it's going, they're going to be the ones to give us their feedback and tell us like we need to be better in these areas. Bucky Oregon in practice a few times. What's what's it like going against him? What what impresses you about him? Um, Buck, he's uh kind of like uh he's just very like a quick back, scat back. He he make he hits holes very fast. He's very shifty. He make you miss. He's done that a few times. I've seen. He's a great at the backfield catching the ball, and um he's he's a young guy who still needs has to make progress. But he has he just definitely shows signs here and there of a great back uh, future back in the Big Ten. Or do, or do you go ahead 
get the same amount of minutes during the weekdays because I'm going to uh, we get we get good on good work. We uh go against the ones. He like Coach uh, Fleck is really good about that, working us into that. Just um having us get good on good work, just going ones, um just going at each other, and uh, he keeps it controlled. Make sure that we don't like we stay up, and nobody gets hurt or anything like that. But he makes sure we have that really competitive work against each other. Just because the scouts are great work as well. Because sometimes like even some of our scouts can play at other schools, and they play really well. So I feel like that's a big thing to us, that our scouts bring it each and every day. So I feel like sometimes when we're in scouts, we're going against the ones as well. And, like, we don't even treat it like that. We call them team because they're really good players as well. When you look back at, at, at Boyer's skill set, what, what stands out about him that you know of? Um, i just seen, um, me, from the time I've gotten here, I've seen Boyer as a freak, like, uh, as people have said, other people have said. And I feel like that's the main thing, him just showing his freakiness of getting off the ball, being an athlete. Uh, having the bend, the strength, and everything, all the tools that it takes to be a great pass rusher. And I feel like that's what Boye really uh, showed, it actually shows every week. And his last few weeks, he's, uh, his pass rush production has really gone up with his sacks, five sacks. And I'm really happy for him because uh, he, he's a guy that works in, each works hard each and every day and um, always looks to get better. And he just uh, show, puts his best foot forward in practice and, and walkthroughs every time he gets. So just seeing him get off the ball like that, that's just something I'm used to seeing. So it wasn't really something different. I saw it was really just something I used to see. Each and every day. Um, I wouldn't say at first anything wasn't clicking. I just say maybe at first these teams like you see uh, coming to the season, people were watching out for him, certain things. So maybe they kind of slid to him a few things, this, certain things like that. But I feel like um, it mostly came on us as well, helping him out, be working together. Like I said before, I feel like us working together on the inside to push the pocket, maybe force things outside to him, or maybe just rushing outside. It just uh, I think it just really wasn't him not clicking. I feel like it was just us helping him out mostly. Uh, definitely, uh, especially uh, me being a part of multiple seasons, like at another school, but being here, I just feel like the season is flying by. And I, I wouldn't say it's like a bad thing, but it's, it just kind of makes you enjoy the moment even more. Each practice, every uh, game, every meal with your teammates, every team meeting, it just makes you enjoy the moment even more. Any more for Niall? Okay, thank you, Niall. No problem.